Listen, mister, don't you give me any sass. Okay, here's this week's project. It's a little side table given to me by some local neighbors whose family didn't want it anymore. I guess it looks like it may have had a, a, a lamp insert in it, which is kind of interesting, but um, it's vintage, of course. It's not an antique. Um, it looks like it's made out of pine. Um, it is pretty marked up. It's pretty dented and scratched and I'm going to paint it, so I'm going to fill this hole with wood putty and just, I'm going to sand it here at the shop. I'll fill the hole with wood putty and um, then take it home because it's too cold here and things are not drying. So, um, yeah, I'll just show you a sneak peek. This is the p other piece that came with it, um, that other um, table, part one of a little telephone table. But the Bondo, although it's been drying for two, almost three days, I guess, and it's not dry. It's just, it's not filling the holes. It's just flying off when I sand it. So let's refinish this little table. This appears to be in better condition. It's, it's not, um, not unstable at all. It just has um, the metal brackets underneath that hold the table to the seat. So no, no great shakes there. Everything is pretty tight. So it's a matter of sorry, sanding it and filling that hole and figuring out what kind of paint I'm going to put on it. So let's see. Now this finish is coming off super easily. And the reason I'm sanding outside is because I could hook that up to my shop vac, but even when I do that, it still blows a little bit of dust in, in there. And I have just a lot of finished furniture in there right now, and I don't want to put a coating of sand on it, so I prefer sanding outside for now. And that's why I'm out here in the gravel. I was going to use my putty at home, but I remembered that I had the the powder dry um, putty that just you add water to it. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, be daring. Ooh, perfect. But again, it's so cold. It's so cold, I think it's like setting up. But at least it'll set up, right? Okay. Not sure if that will seep all the way through. So I think I'll tape it from underneath.
Okay, all rinsed. Now I'm going to put a base coat on it, a primer. I actually don't like using the spray shellac um, as a base coat on something as inexpensive as this little table, um, but I thought it would be better. It is made of pine, and pine typically bleeds, especially around the knots. So any of those knots I just want to seal with the shellac even before I put my white primer on. So I poured my color, which is pumpkin, um, which I do love. I think it's really pretty, um, but it's not really what the, what I'm thinking either. So I'm going to try to add a color that was on sale. It's called Pink Sky. And yeah, so let, let's try mixing them together and see what we get. Now it's um I like it. So what it did was, you know, it, it cooled it down a little bit. So it took some of the warmth out of that pumpkin because it, you know, the pink has a kind of a blue base, so it's cooling the color down. Um, and I think I like that. So to make sure that I have enough, you know, I'm gonna pour a little bit more pumpkin. I mean it's a tiny table, so it is not going to take a lot of paint. And let me put a little bit more of the pink sky. Just want to make sure that I have enough paint. All right then. Yeah, I, I love that color. That's so pretty. It's so bright.
so yeah I'm going to start upside down with the legs and yes I'm painting right over that hardware to hold the legs I try to do one leg at a time or one spindle and I do have a very light hand now that's kind of a personal preference and it's almost a habit I try to keep minimal paint on my brush and I do wipe it off on the piece as I'm painting I have to be a little more careful painting in the house because as I flick the brush back and forth over the side or the spindle a little paint might fly off into the house Although it's a pain in the neck, I do try to do one spindle at a time. I find that I'm less likely to miss spots if I do it that way. And with this little table, I can flip it around easily while I'm working. I don't have to move my body. I can just move the table. Again, if I have a lot of paint on my brush, I just wipe it somewhere else. And I'll The inspector is here. Okay, so I have a coat of acrylic spray on the table, and I am going to do some hand-drawn artwork, kind of folk art style, but not traditional folk art. I just, I do my own thing. Um, so don't hold me to uh, Dutch standards. <laughs> Um, but I think this little table will be cute with a hand design on it. I thought about doing some transfers, but um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I have acrylic paint colors, and I'll list all the colors. Um, it's just a basic primary set, and I will list everything at the end, you know, underneath the video. And what I do, I have some water on the side. In a bunch of different kinds of paint brushes, um, I have a paper towel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this table so that I have 
the front toward me when I'm sitting down. So, you know, um, north, south, e uh, west, east, east, west, according to, I think, what you're looking at, right? No, if you were looking at it, it'd be north, south, um, east, west. So I'm just going to make four registration marks to make sure that as I'm working, that is going to be how I measure. So it's very loose. I'm going to do it with just a... I don't even really want to use... Uh, white paint. I'm actually going to use the green because I'm starting with uh, with a border of just a uh, design, like a vine design. So again, you know, I'm going to look at it here. Sorry, this is the front. The feet are a little crooked on it, but I'm going to use the spacing between the spindles. So here's where we started originally. Um, I sanded this table, filled a bunch of holes and cracks, 
and painted it with the folk art style in mind. To me, the color reminded me of a southwestern kind of a look, and so that's what I went for. I just kind of let the piece dictate it to me. So thank you so much for watching. I'm adding a few photographs and some pictures of it completed. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I wish you all good and beautiful things. Thank you again.